Um, half for uh, demonstrating at the uh, NEC showcase uh, the uh, Merlin Video Wall Controller that allows us to actually integrate different uh, sources of information, whether they come over the LAN, over the internet, through browser interfaces, or the old legacy interfaces with their uh, analog TV or broadcast information coming through, or straight coming off monitors actually on the uh, desk. We can bring all that information into one environment. Uh, say for London Underground, uh, we can bring up um, a call centre and information centre for them uh, that they can handle anything from dropping paper on a platform to a train going into the wall. So they can bring up all the information they need to actually make the decisions. What HARP facilitates is the, the ability to actually bring that information together very quickly for them. So say for London Underground again, they've got 1,500 stations. They can bring up all the CCTV information all the signal information, all the power on the track information. So if someone drops a handbag off the side of the platform and decides to go down and get it, they can immediately turn the power off, stop the train, see all the CCTV images, get the station staff out to actually deal with it. And we can bring all that information into that environment. So we can do that for different utilities, the electricity, the water, the gas. Um, we can bring all that information into one area. So it's anyone who wants to combine all the information into one area so they can make informed decision is what we do with the video walls. Hi, I'm Steve I'm with UTouch. Um, we're here today demonstrating for the very first time the world's first uh, 138 inch interactive video wall. Um, so basically what we've done here is applied interactive touch to uh, 138 inch video wall made up of the nine NEC 46 inch LCDs in the 3x3 format. Um, so basically we've created a frame, a bespoke frame to go around the whole outside. Um, built in a safety glass to cover the whole screen, giving it uh, the safety aspect and obviously a smooth flow for the touch. We've actually got an anti-reflective material laminated onto the front of the screen, uh, which gives uh, reduces the glare on the screen, gives uh, basically uh, an added properties of being anti-graffiti uh, and making a smoother, lower friction sort of surface touch for the operator to move the finger around. Um, kind of applications we see this sort of size of screen working in is potentially in uh, schools or BSF projects and universities uh, where we've been getting a lot of demand for the sort of the wow factor, a central feature, um, often referred to me as a sort of an eye wall effect. Um, we also see uh, interest for this kind of application into broadcasting areas, having already been successful in putting large format touch screens into the BBC, CNN, uh, Sky, um, Bloomberg, um, so for interactivity during um, a live broadcast, this is the ideal solution. Uh, one of the uh, key features is obviously that we can support a dual touch function with this, We're running out of Windows 7 which supports dual touch as a, a native uh, feature of, of the operating system so you can really get great interactivity zooming in on applications like this which is the Microsoft Virtual Earth um, and also you can do the same sort of thing with images but people refer to the iPhone pinch um, hello, my name's Scott Colton from Extron Electronics and we're here today at NEC Showcase at the BBC and uh, we're here demonstrating the Quantum Elite product and a VN Matrix uh, which is the IP video streaming and graphics streaming. Um, the Quantum Elite is a 4U or a 6U frame with either 8 slots or 15 slots giving the capability of 168 um, composite or S-video inputs or 28 um, DVI or RGB inputs. Um, it can have a number of outputs or you can create a uh, video and graphics montage which allows you to have multiple sources at different resolutions, different frame rates um, and allow you to create this uh, visual montage of different inputs.